Hi, my name's Chris Dadswell, and I was just wondering what your opinions on string theory are and whether you think it's provable or not. Hi, Chris. You're asking about string theory. Well, I'm not the right person to ask. It's not my subject. I actually like to measure things instead of uh, making theories about them. Uh, but I can tell you why string theory was invented. Uh, if you uh, try to calculate the energy of a particle that has a, uh, just a point in space, and you calculate the, uh, fi the energy in the electric field around an electron, the answer that you get is infinity. This is not the right answer. So if you could imagine that instead of being a point, the particle is actually spread out into a string or a, or a surface or other ways, you can avoid this infinity problem. And then it becomes a much more interesting calculation. And this has worked out pretty well mathematically. So we're beginning to be able to do that. Uh, but unfortunately, there is very little way that we can tell the difference between string theory predictions and other theory predictions. They've all been adjusted to match the reality that we've already observed. So, so far, a string theory has not made predictions that haven't already been tested. That means it's uh, not possible to demonstrate that it's a better theory than others. But uh, maybe that time will come. Perhaps uh, string theory will predict something that will be seen at the Large Hadron Collider that no other theory has predicted. In that case, uh, then we would say it was a great success.